Yo, what's up guys? Boss here and I'm back with another YouTube video and this time we're going to be playing some top ladder using this Mortar Graveyard deck. So I think I made a video on this deck about a month or two ago, but it's still pretty solid in the meta and it's especially really good in competitive, but it's also really good in ladder because you have a lot of really strong defense. You can see here you have the Mortar, you have the Hunter, as well as the Cannon Cart, and then you can often use a lot of these cards to counter push and then go on offense with the graveyard so such as you know like your knight for example or the cannon cart you can use those on defense and then make a counter push out of them mortar and graveyard are really nice to have you know in this exact deck they synergize pretty well together because you kind of have two win conditions two ways of getting damage on your opponent's tower and also really solid defense at the same time poison as your spell you can actually use fireball if you want you can sub in fireball for poison that changes a few different matchups but overall i prefer to have poison because it's better versus golem night witch it's better if they end up having skeleton army better if they have graveyard but fireball would be better if they were to have something like you know balloon because you'd have that pushback but overall i prefer having poison in this deck so before we get in the first game if you guys want to support me you can use my creator code boss you can use it in any supercell game help support me help support the channel and i re uh, really appreciate all you guys who use my code it means a lot so i'm currently at 6380 trophies right now 294th in the world before i get in the first game i wanted to yeah show you guys there's actually a triple elixir global tournament starting so honestly i don't know how i feel about this i'm not a huge fan of it i think for you know good players and like people who take this game like you know, like seriously, I think they'd much rather have, you know, a regular global tournament, non triple elixir. But let me know what your guys' opinion is, like in the comments, like what you guys think of this. But when I get in the first game, I'll talk about it a little further too. But let's go ahead and search for the first game and see you guys when we find it. Alright, so we found our first game, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with a triple elixir global tournament but my main concern is it's just going to be less skillful um we're going to be seeing a lot less cycle decks it's mostly just going to be a bunch of like heavy beatdown decks and i feel like someone who wins a regular global tournament is most likely going to be better than someone who wins a triple elixir global tournament but that's just the way i look at it i'm still going to be making videos on it for sure um my plan is um probably to use Electro Giant. That might be my first video. The reason why is because Electro Giant counters most Lava Hound decks, most Golem decks, and I think it can beat Elixir Golem as well, which I suspect a lot of people are going to be using in the um, Triple Elixir Global Tournament. So that's why I decided to go with kind of Electro Giant as my kind of the first, you know, video I wanted to make, probably going to 15 wins, getting all the rewards. But anyway, with that out of the way, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Triple Elixir um, global tournament. Some of you guys might have a completely different view and think it's actually going to be more exciting than the regular global tournament because we haven't had a different game mode in a while. So curious to see what you guys think. But anyway, this guy's going to go for Tornado so we can go Spear Goblins. He's going to go ahead and e -whiz. So, so far pretty interesting deck. I'm unsure what this guy's using. I don't want to pull the trigger yet on the graveyard because I feel like it's a little... You know what? I'm gonna do it. I, I changed my mind. I know. I, I know. I said I wouldn't, but I. I. I'm, I think it's not a bad idea because, um, he appears to have a lot of spells that weren't really good against it, like arrows, lightning, and stuff like that. And if I had to guess, this might be something like I want to say golem potentially because we see the lightning, and lightning usually is only with golem. Could be RG though too. I really, in all honesty, don't know what this is. And I was also. Ooh, so he's going to go for an Electro Giant. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Defensive Mortar here. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're spacing everything out. So I need to go for a High Hunter kind of like this to ensure that he can't Lightning it. Um, he is going to get a really nice Fisherman off though, so well played on his part. He's going to Lightning, but we can go for a Cannon Cart out of range. Um, mortar... Oh my gosh, he just activated the King Tower, I just realized that, so pretty big mistake there on his end. Um, you know, I had to use so much Elixir on defense, but as I said, with him activating that King Tower, that's definitely not something he wanted to do there. His Barbarians are going to be out of rotation, so really good opportunity for us to, of course, send in a Graveyard with him having those out of cycle. I'm tempted to even, yep, very good Poison, because he played the E-Wiz right into it as well. And this might already be good game, to be honest. The fact that he accidentally activated the King Tower is really going to just hurt him for the rest of this match. And also, if I'm being honest with you guys, Mortar is an amazing counter to the Electro Giant. Mortar and Goblin Cage are the best answers to it because um, the building doesn't damage it itself. So what I mean by that is, like, you, I mean, 
so something like a bomb tower, right? The Electro Giant will end up damaging because the bomb tower is constantly hitting it, but Mortar, when it gets close to the Mortar, the Mortar doesn't shoot it, so really the Mortar's just serving as a tank that stays alive for such a long time. Same with the Goblin Cage, which is why those are the two best buildings and best answers against Electro Giant. So, nice first win there, putting us at 234th in the world. Hopefully, we can make it into the top 200, and I'll see you guys when we find our next game. Alright, we found our next game. Um, this guy's a little lower than us, so I think we'll get less trophies if we win. I'm going to go for Spear Goblins at the bridge. He's going to cycle Zappy. So, Zappies could be... It could be Royal Giant, Giant Skeleton with Zappies. Um... Could also be, oh, look, yeah, it looks like it's it is going to be royal hogs. So good poison there. Poison is a pretty good, you know, last resort on top of recruits. I don't mind doing it because it's four elixir. You're taking out three recruits, and in this case, we actually ended up taking out a zappy as well. So it's not a bad trade. Um, I will say this matchup would be ten times easier if we had fireball, but we definitely can still win. It's just not going to be. You know, obviously as easy as I would like. Um, in fact, I, I think this is a pretty hard matchup, if I had to say. Um, just due to the fact that, like I said, we have poison, but we could play really well and still win. Um, like, it's definitely not... Yeah, like, certainly not impossible. Um, very bad flying machine on his part. So I'm in a graveyard because he pretty much just wasted four elixir. He's going to go for the fireball. Um, Barbaro not going to hit the hunter. Okay, so a couple interesting plays on his end. So he kind of wasted a flying machine and then also he... The barbell, he didn't barbell the hunter, he instead barbell the graveyard. And the other thing is he has arrows for some reason. So arrows instead of... Um, instead of what? What is he... Because he already has barbell. Um, so he must have arrows instead of the fireball. No, he used Fireball, so he has three spells. That's very interesting because this deck normally just has Fireball and Barbell, so that's going to put him in really awkward cycles sometimes, I feel like, um, because this is not the meta the meta deck um, that I'm used to seeing with Barbarrel and... So, yeah, what what card is missing then? I'm going to try to figure it out. Oh, probably Elector Spirit. I think he has Arrows in for Elector Spirit. That kind of makes sense, I guess. I'm going to go for Knight here to protect this Cannon Cart. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and Graveyard. I'm going to Poison this side. I'm um, going to make sure that I get Spear Robins down as kind of like Distraction. And yeah, pretty good pretty good there. Um, he might go Royal Hogs. Yeah, he does. So I'm going to try to not Mortar because I'd rather use Support Cards that I can get Counter Push off of. Okay, he was very aggressive. Um, we still have a fairly healthy left tower, so I'm content with that defense. The question is, is do I go in here? Um, okay, good poison. I'm taking that 100%. He's going to go Royal Hog, so definitely got to get a Mortar down this time. Uh, the time before I wanted to get support cards down, but this time around, 100% got to go for that mortar. Does a nice job there. Uh, because he went for arrows, he committed 8 elixir on offense. De for, so I'm for sure going to graveyard here. I think there's no reason not to. It's going to force a lot of elixir out of him. He doesn't have arrows in cycle. He has to fireball it, so this should be GG. Nice win. Um, to be honest, I thought this was a pretty difficult matchup, but it turns out that because he had the... Be because he had arrows and not electro spirit that put him in really awkward cycles but that's why i prefer uh the meta variant with electro spirit even if your electro spirit's level 12 i still think it's way better to use than arrows i'll see you guys when we find our next match all right found our next game versus marinho marno uh Love Sam. So now, you know what I noticed? You know who the original person to put, like, a heart in their name was uh, Anaban? Um, and then, everyone's just been doing it now. 
I feel like he was the one who started the trend, and then after that, you know, everyone just started doing it, and it became a pretty common thing. Anyway, just kind of a fun fact that kind of Anaban was the first one to do that. Uh, so, looks like we're potentially versus that Firecracker Mortar Cycle deck. Should be a good matchup for us. And I say that because, especially when we get in double elixir, he obviously has a very fast cycle. 2.6, I think. So no need to be overly aggressive. Um, but right as I say that, this is the perfect opportunity to be aggressive because he played... So he's just asking me to bar barrel that because bar barrel takes out the firecracker, tanks for the graveyard, all in one play. This is why I love the bar barrel and this is why it pairs so well with graveyard. I know we didn't get a lot of graveyard damage, but we forced a lot of elixir out of him. And that's good enough for me. And we got rid of the firecracker, so not bad at all. I'm going to mortar, because I unfortunately cycle my cannon cart. He's going to earthquake, so I'm going to have to go spear goblins. If he decides to log the spear goblins, um, well, actually he can't, because he didn't have them in cycle, uh, the log, because he used it on the graveyard. He has it back in cycle now, though, but he didn't at the time, I don't think. If he cycles Firecracker on the back, to be honest, I'm, I'm probably just going to go Knight Graveyard. I might just do it now, because he doesn't have a Knight in cycle, so he can't... And you just cycle the Spear Goblins. He's going to have to Earthquake this Graveyard 100%. Uh, that... Yep. Yeah. Well, what did, I say? what did I say? That's why I did that, because he didn't have Knight in cycle, he couldn't block our Knight, and on top of that... He just cycled his Spear Goblin, so he was in a horrible rotation, and that showed you guys right there. That's exactly why I did that. Um, and that ended up working out really, really nicely for me. And at this point, with the deck he's using, he is not in a very good position. With this type of deck, you don't want to be in this much of a HP deficit um, in double elixir. Um, certainly not single elixir, but double too, because this is the type of deck um, that he's using where you have a really fast cycle, so you should be ideally maintaining a pretty good a pretty good lead but that unfortunately for him has not been the case um we have you know about i don't know the exact amount but like a 1000 something lead 1400 so i'm just gonna get a distraction down for this mortar and then you know i'm, I'm just gonna graveyard i think not the best firecracker um and again, if we don't get much graveyard damage, I'm cool with that, just as long as I force a lot of elixir out of him. And we do that. I mean, it forces a tornado out of him. You know, he has to overspend on defense, so it just prevents him from cycling earthquakes on my tower. And overall, he's got a hard time getting a mortar connection. I'm gonna... I, I think just... Let that mortar lock on. And I'm doing this just because... My other tower is more healthy than my left tower, and... With doing that, I'm saving Elixir, I'm able to spend more on offense, and it works out nicely. It kind of, it just essentially made the game go quicker. I feel like there was no reason to be overly defensive um, when I had a lot of you know, HP I could give up, but yeah, it's going to be GG. Uh, nice win there. I, I don't think that's too bad of a matchup in that, you know, that, that Mortar Firecracker Cycle deck, you know, really popular deck in the meta. Um, I feel like it's getting more and more popular. I don't know who originally created it, but I think there was a Japanese person who was using it on ladder for a few months now, if I remember correctly, and he probably influenced, you know, other people playing it. So, nice three games so far, and, uh, let's see if we can continue this win streak. Well, I actually found this game instantly. I didn't even have to search long at all. It took only, like... Um, well, it took like five seconds, so I probably don't even need to edit that out. Anyway, um, this guy's gonna go for, ooh, log bait. With this matchup, you have to be really careful with princesses at the bridge. I think that's the biggest thing I noticed. Um, I played this matchup a couple times earlier today with this deck. Oh, mm, I didn't have a mortar in cycle. Dang, that sucks. If I had mortar, that would have been just great. Because it would have been a 4 for 3 trade, and it would have applied pressure on offense. Okay, just use Dark Goblin. Um, so I'm fine going aggressive. Dark Goblin is the best counter to Graveyard, so... When that's out of cycle, I'm okay being a little aggressive. 
And you can see, he spent a lot of elixir. I mean, I think he spent six or seven elixir on defense on that graveyard, so I'm perfectly fine with that. And... Mm, I'm not really fine with this, though. The question is, is can he defend after doing that? Yes, because Dark Goblin OP and Electro Spirit on the graveyard. No. Oh. Uh, mm. I'll take it, considering I didn't think we were going to get as much damage, and at the end, we got that really good graveyard RNG. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. That, that was not bad, but... We're obviously um, not in the best position compared to him, so we have to kind of work our way back. I will start going aggressive with my mortars, though. I don't agree with that defensive Inferno. Don't think that that is going to. I'm gonna if I'm gonna save my bar barrel. No need to use it if I don't have to. Let's poison probably gonna play skeletons or something into it okay logs out of cycle please Please, Graveyard. Yes. I think we... Yes, we got the tower. Nice. That's what we like to see. We're gonna... I think Mortar immediately. He's probably gonna go for... thought he was gonna Barrel since I had a... Since my Bar Barrel's out of cycle, but he decided not to. I'm gonna Hunter this. It should fully counter it um, if I timed it right. Yes, I did. That way we can save our... Our Bar Barrel, which is great. Um, and guys, we, you know, we could potentially come back here. This is looking, uh, really solid. I'm gonna poison that Inferno. Skeleton Barrel should get fully countered here. Um, I'm gonna do this. Distract that Inferno momentarily with that. And then Dark Goblin was played in the opposite lane. So Graveyard's gonna have, um, an opportunity to get some damage, which is great. Um, slowly but surely, guys, we're actually coming back here. Um, I think this matchup is pretty bad in single, but then double and triple, it just gets, I think, I think it just gets better for us. Um, you know, pretty bad, uh, you know, you know, skeleton barrel. I don't think that was the play. Um, so I'm going to go aggressive here. We're going to see if we can get a nice poison off. Bar barrel, we're going to be able to get down here. And guys, we just took the lead. I, I, I'm, I'm looking really good here. In a game that we were losing at the beginning, we've pretty much made a massive comeback and we're completely completely out of it for the most part. And we're doing a pretty good job of... Um, no, there's nothing tanking for the, the graveyard, no. Oh, well, good game, guys. I tried my best. Um, you know, it was a good effort considering we were down, you know, majority of that game. And then I happened to take his tower and almost come back. But, um, yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, Dark Goblin is really, really good against the graveyard. I feel like um, that was, yeah, like, obviously the Dark Goblin's what won him the game. I mean, Without that, he would have had a hard time defending the Greybeard. But, I mean, he played it well. Um, he did a good job in single elixir of, you know, obviously outcycling us. Um, but, yeah, we'll go into, I'd say, like, one or two more games. We'll see how long the next game is. All right, guys, we found potentially our last game. Um, so, let's see if this guy's going to do anything. If not, I might just mortar, because why not? Um, 
Yeah, Mortar's fine. I, it's it's an okay starting play. It's gonna go for Flying Machine. Uh, I misclicked the Bar Barrel. That's not gonna. Yeah, I I, I I meant to play the top lower. As soon as I played it, I knew it was a bad bar barrel. That was uh, unfortunate, to say the least. Because I knew right as soon as I dropped it, it was a tile too high. Okay, so he's going to go Mega Knight here. Um, we can just Hunter this. We, we have Hunter and Knight. We should be perfectly capable of defending this Mega Knight without any issues in fact i could even as crazy aggressive as this is i, I think i'm in a graveyard here because he actually um the mega knight we took out really you know easily and yeah this mother witch though is actually even though it's not that good it's actually gonna be quite a nuisance considering we're using graveyard and mother witch is actually really good against graveyard and uh, like skeleton army and stuff like that so it's kind of it's quite literally the only matchup where the mother witch is actually good so that's obviously really annoying for us because um yeah we're using graveyard and i think this for sure would be a matchup yeah like where the fireball is would be like 10 times better but um we'll have to you know do what we can i guess i'm gonna poison i need a bar barrel so then the flying machine stays inside of the poison and dies okay we're gonna need to poison this mother witch Okay. Mm. I'm just sitting here in silence because um, I don't really know what, what to say other than, well, um, I couldn't really defend that. But yeah, um, well, good video. Um, sucks that we lost the last two games, but that last game I think was really, really hard. Like I think he had a really hard counter because, as I said, Mother Witch isn't good, but it is good against the Graveyard. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, we had some good games, but also some unfortunate losses. This, uh, global tournament is going to be starting tomorrow. I plan to make, you know, at least a couple videos on it. Uh, I'm going to kind of see how you guys like it. I mean, it is Triple Elixir. Um, as I said, I'm planning on using Electro Giant most likely for the first video because I think it does quite good versus most Golem decks, most Lava Hound decks, and Elixir Golem, which I think is going to be pretty popular in this global tournament but anyway that is going to be it for the video make sure to like it if you guys enjoyed it subscribe if you're not subscribed already and thanks again until next time guys